What's up internet? This is Aim for Survival and today we're shooting a very personal topic. This is personal home defense. Stay tuned and we'll show you some techniques to defend your life before it counts. Okay guys, so like I said, it is very personal. Your home, that is your first line of defense. Most people, when they talk about bug out, it's only because they've thought about bugging in. Now, how do you prevent problems? That is personal home defense at its simplest. And there's some techniques that you can work towards, that you can contribute to, to let robbers know, let aggressors know, this is not an easy target. This is not a soft target. Now, we're gonna go over just some simple, basic techniques I'll let you know what these things are. Okay, as we get started, we're gonna go through simple techniques that you can do and they will prevent people. The first one will be putting a security sign near your mailbox. And this could be something as simple as going to Goodwill, finding an ADT sign, or one your neighbors locally use. That's the security group. It's gonna stand out to, to a criminal. People of simple minds, simple intentions. They want weak targets. So, we're going to go ahead and first plant a security sign at the front of the property or near the house. Let them know this is not a soft target. We're going to go ahead and talk about something just a little more advanced. It requires a little bit of maintenance, a little money investment, but this will help you in your day-to-day -day life. We will install motion-activated security lights. This will let you know when somebody approaches your property and give you information once they're there. We can install motion sensors that give alarms in our house to let people know when, or to let us know when people pass our mailbox. You gotta understand entry is very important. The criminals can't hurt you or take from you if they can't get in. We will change out the screws inside of our door frame. The hinge itself is what I'm talking about. We will take the small, worthless wood screw they installed cheaply, and we will add a three to four inch wood screw to make it better. When people kick in doors, there's two parts that can fail, maybe three. There is the frame and the hinge, or the locking mechanism. Now, if you have the money, just change out the frame, but you still need those long wood screw bolts. If I'm kicking in a door, as I've been trained, I kick at either the door knob or the door hinge. Either one of them are gonna fail. Odds are it's not the lock. So reinforce those hinges. Okay, right here central point of entry this is your front door now that in mind it came standard with a small wood screw guys a two-year-old could kick this out we have reinstalled a three inch wood screw and there's the privacy fence now you need to understand criminals need time to work just like anybody they love when people can't see them do their work they can do it in private if you have a security fence, you need to lock that security fence. Make it a bad situation for them. Okay, yeah, it's easy to get in. Now it's hard to get out. That's what you want. That's what you really need. All right, next, let's talk about landscaping. Now, I've done mentioned before, this is not a landscaping channel. Now you want to keep your grass low. And in my opinion, we want to keep your hedges in place but also you want to keep them trimmed you do not want people hiding behind objects in your yard that's the first thing they're going to want to do next you want to consider your lighting if they can see in and you can't see out if you don't know what i'm talking about go outside at night and watch your family be a family and then think like a criminal next thing you want to do is cover these windows or add reflective tint this will help but covering your windows at night is definitely a must Next, guys, let's go ahead and talk about pets. Having a dog is a lifesaver. Now, just like people, when bad things happen, loud noises occur, the dog will get scared. 
However, before that, moments before that, moments count. They can save your life. Moments to prepare. I'll give you an example. This is a long driveway. If that dog starts barking the moment an alarm goes off or the moment they hear gravel being moved, you're going to have many, many life-saving moments to save your life. Okay guys, we went over a lot of techniques today. We've talked about preventative measures for personal home defense. Now, the purpose of this is to discourage attackers from targeting your home and your family. Now, the first layer of defense was our security sign. Whether you have the service or you do not have the service, go to Goodwill, get one of these signs and you are no longer a soft target. Next, motion alarm on the mailbox. That right there will give you much needed time. Look at the length of this driveway. Every bit of that, every moment in that will save your life. It'll give you time to get to whatever implement you decide to use in your personal defense. Do not wait. Just participate. Just get involved. Defend your home. Next, when you approach the house, lighting. If you have a motion sensor light, it'll come on. That will be a primary deterrent. If criminals know they can be seen being criminals, they will stop what they're doing and they will flee. Again, goes to soft target, hard target. Don't be a soft target. Next, once you are at the actual house, home defense actually circulates around animals, dogs, security dogs. Now, most dogs will do like most people. They will cringe and hide and tear in fear. They, they, are, they are creatures they, of instinct. It's a good instinct to hide. Problem is, it's your job to defend the house. So the dog barks, you have more information. That right there is what you need. Past that, Say the person is serious about doing bad business. They're gonna come through that door. Can you slow them down? Yes, yes you can. You can reinstall the bolts, the wood screws on your hinges. You can consider your door locks and upgrades, but that's not where it's gonna fail. It's gonna fail at the hinges. Add longer wood screws, three, four inch wood screws, check for electrical wiring, do it.